Today I'd like to introduce you to the Lattice Axe 120 cleaving system. It's at the heart of all of our Lattice Axe systems. I'll first show you how to cleave a sample of silicon using the Lattice Axe 120. Second, we'll show you cleaving on a non-crystalline sample such as this glass slide. The process for cleaving a sample includes three main steps. Setting the sample on the Lattice Axe workstation platform, locking it down with a guide. Now I'm going to indent the sample with the diamond indenter. I can do fine positioning with the indenter positioning knob and do a calibrated indent using my clock dial. The indent is complete and now I'm going to move to my cleaving position by sliding the sample up over the cleaving pin and now bringing my cleaving bar down to the sample in order to create a three-point cleave. I want to turn the knob very slowly, just putting pressure on the sample with the two cleaving feet. A slow cleave will produce the best quality edge. And now the sample is complete. And you get a nice mirror finish edge. The lattice axe can also be used to indent and break amorphous materials. I'll show you an example on a standard glass slide. So I placed the sample onto the workstation platform. I'm now going to do my indent and I'll just do about an hour. Now I'm going to cleave the sample using our standard three-point process. 